What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this W204 video, we are going to be bringing it back to basics and today we are going to be changing out the oil filter and replenishing the oil for the W204. As you can see, I have all the parts in front of me right now. So let's get straight into this. We won't waste any time. The first thing you wanna do before you jack up any car is make sure that you do have wheel chocks. Make sure you've got one for each side. This will save the car from rolling back when you jack it up. After that is done, go ahead and jack up your car from the center point at the front. This will not affect the chassis in any way. It will allow you to jack it up safely and not bend anything. Also, when jacking up a car, never ever get under a car unless you use jack stands. Now, there are numerous places where you can place a jack stand. In this case, I've placed it under the lower control arms. It's a solid enough place in order to place it, but I never ever remove the jack as well unless I'm using four jack stands. Just in case the floor jack fails, the jack stands will catch it and it will save your life. Safety is the number one thing you wanna worry about when working on cars. With all that done, we can now go ahead and start to remove the lower cover here which covers the oil pan. This will allow us to access the sump plug, remove it, and then flush the oil. Also, before you go ahead and do that, make sure you remove your oil filler cap. This will now allow it to easily flush through the system. Remove this cover here so you can see your oil filter. That is it right here. We're gonna go ahead and remove this now. It's going to allow the oil to flow through the engine quickly and come straight out the sump plug. Now, this is normally only hand tightened. Really should not have to tighten this more than um, hand tightened. I should be able to remove this just with my hands. There we go. It's also a good idea to run your car for like 15 minutes. That way the oil is really hot and it flows really easily. Let's just remove this first. Okay, there we go. Let's grab a couple of rags. Make sure none of this spills. Now, if you don't have any cheap rags around, make sure you get yourself some of these. These are a Scott workshop towel and they are fantastic. They absorb grease and oil very well. And it's just really good for mechanic workshops and working on your car DIY. So now I'm just going to rip one and then we'll remove the oil filter. We'll just pick it up. Dribble it on here, and then just put it straight in our oil pan. For the W204, it's really easy to change out the oil filter because it is on top. Let's go ahead and replace our oil filter first, and then we don't have to worry about it, and then we will just drain out the oil from the bottom. All that's left to do after that is refill the oil. What we're gonna do is remove this filter now. We'll chuck that there. See here, you've got a total of three O-rings that you need to replace. You've got one, two, and three. All right, use a scribe or even a flathead screwdriver. Remove these three O-rings and replace them. Give it a nice clean so you can see it clearly. Careful not to break this. It can break really easy. It is plastic and it can get very brittle after it heats up a lot. So this is it right here. All right, so there's the filter itself. Let's just leave that there. And inside we do have a set of O-rings. So we're gonna use all these and replace all the O-rings on the filter. So this is the tool I like to use, a scribe. It really helps when you have a little hook. And just go ahead and hook it and remove it. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Second one removed. Now, if you take a look at this carefully, you can see that this part tapers. So it's smaller here, then it gets a slightly larger, and then obviously this is the largest one on the very top. Remember where it goes. All right, that's all three O-rings removed. Now let's add our O-rings back on. Rip this open. All right, there's our largest one. We know that's gonna go right on the top. And then we've got the smallest one, which we won't use because that's just too small, right? Then we've got these two sizes here. So the smallest will go on the very bottom, and the medium one will go in the middle, then the largest one will go around the top, which seals the oil filter cap. Just stretch it over it. So now that's over it, let's just grab our hook tool and let's move it on down, down here, where it needs to go. And there we have it. Be very careful not to rip it as well. You can see what I'm doing here now. I'm getting one side on first, and then I'll stretch it around just like that, see? And that's how you get it on. Lastly, the one that seals the actual oil cap. So it sits in this groove right here. You can see where the thread is, and then you can see where it sits in. Just get it in around there. You can just use your fingers. You don't have to use a tool for this. And that's it. Now, grab your oil filter, and it doesn't matter which way it goes on, as long as it just sits straight in like so. And that's it. That's how you replace the filter. Then just give it a nice wipe down. And it's very, very important here now that you do lube this. Whether you use old oil or new oil, make sure you lube the seal, or else it's going to rip when you go to screw it on. Grab a bit of oil, old or new, doesn't matter, and just place some around this seal. This is so important. So many people forget to do this and then they wonder why they don't have a complete seal. If you don't lube it and you go to screw it on, what you can do is damage the O-ring itself. It can rip or it won't move and then it will get bunched up and then crease and that way you don't even get a complete seal. Right, so now that's done, we can set that aside and now let's get to the bottom of the car. All right, so now we're going to remove these screws here. I believe they are M8s, eight mils, just remove them all. You should be able to slide it back and pull it down now. Oil pan is here. We still got to remove this one here and we're able to access it. So coming in from underneath the front right tire sitting in the car, 
you're going to see a screw here, another one just here, and then if you just go straight across, you're going to see another one just there, and the last one right there. Then you'll be able to access the oil pan and flush the oil. So that is our oil pan cover removed. Taking a look, that is your transmission, and this one right here is your oil pan. Your sun plug will be accessible. Let me show you on the other side. Right, so this is your oil pan, and this is your sun plug right here. So the sun plug bolt is only a 13 millimeter. Okay, now this doesn't have to be torqued really, really tight. A lot of shops tend to overdo this. It can just be snugged up and then about a quarter to half turn, and that will do. Let's just uh, remove this sun plug, and we'll get our tool onto the sun plug. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, meaning go up to fasten and down to loosen, right? So this is a 13 mil wrench. Let's just put that on there. And then I've got this cool little tool here that allows us to extend the wrench, allowing us to get a little bit more leverage in order to remove it. Wrench on, then we add this on like so. And then we got leverage now and we just go down. Now that that's loosened, we can undo it by hand. As you can see, we'll leave it just snug on for now and put our oil pan there. That did not take much at all. So here's our oil pan right here. We'll put it underneath. Now we can loosen it by hand and the oil will shoot straight into the pan. Just make sure you've got it out a little bit further to this side. Now I want it to fall in this part of the oil pan because this is the higher side and it kind of can catch the bolt. That way you're not looking for it inside your oil. I could have used a ratchet for this, but I wanted to do it slowly. All right, now that it's nicely loose, I can just do it by hand and here we go. It's a pretty long bolt as well. All right, here we go, there we go, perfect. Look at that, wow, that oil is so hot. Woo! Make sure you don't lose the washer as well. Clean up some of the spilled oil right away before it stains. So as we wait for every last drop to come out, let's go ahead and reinstall our oil filter. I can easily access the sun plug. We'll clean it off nice and clean. You can hear the oil dripping, that's good. Hopefully it gets every last drop. And here is our washer. You can go ahead and replace the washer as well. I've only used this once, so I think it's going to be just fine. However, they do say that you should replace it, so remember that as well. You can set this aside. Let's go ahead and clean the oil filler cap, just so we know that it doesn't show the old oil and the color of it. Now we're ready to see what the new oil looks like once installed. It should be nice and clean. This has sat for a bit, so we're gonna go ahead and relube it. You can never have enough, because this is so important. Let's go ahead and reinstall the oil filler. There we go. And then we just screw it in. Now usually, once they install it from factory, there's always a line that it follows, right? And this is the oil filter I used, right here. OEM quality, but it's fine. I mean, I change my oil quite frequently, so I don't need the best of the best like K&N. I just need one that will filter. Just here, you can see there's a green mark. Okay, you can barely see it there, but there is one right there. When you go to fasten your oil filter cap, make sure you reline up that green marking. There will be one on the oil filter housing, and another one, on the cap. Okay, so there's the line there. I'm gonna come back around. Okay, and there's the green mark. And there we go. Now it's lined back up and it's nicely snug on now. And that's it. It should only be hand tightened. You don't have to use a tool to tighten the crap out of it. If you look on here, it even tells you 2.5 Newton meters of torque. That's all you have to torque it down to. Check out this cool little tool I got. It's a little oil filler cap that has a little clamp on it. So you just open it up, sit it on top of your oil filler like that. Now you're ready to Fill your oil up. Now that you've drained all the oil, go ahead and grab a cloth, a rag, clean it up. Replace the sun plug. Make sure it's not dirty where the threads are. Make sure you don't thread it. That would be horrible. Just do it by hand first until you get it started. Now you can go ahead and use a tool just so you get it in all the way. Now that that's in all the way, we'll go ahead and grab our 13 mil spanner again. Get it back on. Now, to tighten, it would be to go upwards. Get it on like so, and then slide it all the way back so you get good leverage and tighten. Do it till it's nice and snug. Don't go too tight. Like I said, you don't have to do that. Start from here again and get some leverage and just pull up. Just double check it. And wow, that's definitely tight on, so we're all good. Get yourself some brake parts cleaner, clean the oil area. Now you do this so that once you start up the car and you run it, you know that there is no oil stains around it. So if you do see some, that means that you do have an oil leak. That's why you do this. 
So don't replace your covers until you have run the car for 10 to 15 minutes, let it build up pressure, and then check to see if you have any oil leaks. So go ahead and take the time to clean any oil spills around your oil filter housing. For the same principle that if you do see any oil leaks, you can tell that it is a new oil stain, not an old one. We'll turn our attention to our oil filler right there, and let's just top up our oil. I really need this tool, but I just got it because it was so cheap. I think it was like $5 on Timu, and it just helps to allow the funnel to sit straight and for you to just fill up your oil. The oil we are using today is the Penrite HPR5 Full Synthetic 5W40. Now, when you're looking for an oil for your car, make sure you always look for the MB approval 229.5. That lets you know that it has been approved by Mercedes. It also gives you the sticker here so that you can peel it off, stick it onto your engine bay or on your windscreen so that you know when to do your next service. So now let's just top up the oil. All right, so the W204 C300 V6 takes approximately 6.5 liters if you remove all the oil. Now, sometimes depending on how you jack up your car or how the car is positioned, you may not get every single drop of oil. And in that case, go with six liters first, drop the car down and then check where your oil level is. Don't just go ahead and put in 6.5 liters because you probably end up sucking some back out. So here we have five liters. Let's just go ahead and tip all this in. I'll just leave it like that. That's five liters. Tip in 500 mils to a liter and let's just see where the oil is now. Now remove the jack stands from both sides. Jack it up a little bit more so it's off the jack stand. Make sure there's nothing else underneath the car and just let it come down nice and easy. Go all the way back down, leave it in position because we will jack it back up. Now let's tip in one more liter and see where the oil sits that's the four liter mark so we need to make sure the oil sits at four liters now going slowly we're about 5.5 liters all right perfect so right now it's on four liters let's check the oil dipstick pull it on out give it a good wipe looking at your oil dipstick you can see that you've got two markings on here here you've got max and then you got minimum you only want your oil at this mark here no higher so let's go ahead and uh, reinsert it and look at this the oil is almost all the way full, but not quite yet. So I think another litre or 500 mils will do the job. Okay, let's check out oil. All right, and now you can see here that we are just on max. So that is perfect. That's done. We can jack back up the car and reinsert all of our lower cover panels. Let's lift this off, put our oil filler cap back on. All right, so now let's jack the car back up. And Cars back up. Once you finish installing the lower covers for your oil pan, go ahead and lower the car down. Make sure the jack is down all the way first before you pull it out or you risk breaking your front bar. Now what you want to do is run the engine for like 5-10 minutes, get everything warm and then leave it for a bit, let it settle and then check the oil once again. And there you have it guys. That is how you successfully complete an oil service on your W204 C300 V6 model. It is a little bit different for the non-V6 models and also the V8, but it is somewhat similar. Now, because I have changed the cluster to a digital one, I no longer have to do the surface reset. But if you do have to do that, here are the instructions of how it's done. And well, that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys, and it gives you a better idea of how you go about a service for the W204. If you got something out of it or you just found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. Bye for now.